Welcome back, guys and girls, who does what it says with part two of the installation of a BMW Z4 uh, 128th scale bodywork. Right, let's get straight to it. Part one's obviously done. You got up to prepping the body ready for lights and magnetic body clips. So now I'm going to show you what I do to get the lights installed. Well, I'm not really because of what I've done is I've already installed them um, just for the the sake of making this video a little bit shorter to be honest otherwise it will take about 18 minutes which is a bit of a pain in the butt but as you can see I've hot glue gunned them in and you get the lights from the WL Toys 284131 which is the mini infraction and um, I cut the lights out of the bodywork for that for this uh, use a body as a basher later on it's no problem when you do glue it use a hot glue gun hold them in position be extremely careful obviously because it's a hot glue gun hot means it will burn you so don't burn yourselves glue the lights in don't burn yourselves stay safe and uh, yeah once you've done that it should look something like what I've got in this picture so once you've done that come back to this video and i'll show you how to install the magnetic body clips so what you want to do is you want to remove this front bumper and how you do that is completely take out these two screws just like that and then you loosen off the next two back just like that and you want to push the front two wheels down and just give you a little bit of space and just slide the bumper out obviously take the cable out of the speed the uh, electronic speed controller and once you've done that in the kit for the magnetic body holders you get a little metal plate so stick that back in so you take a bumper out and you put that back in just for a little bit of extra protection at the front do all the screws up Then remove the body tower, the body clip tower. Even though it's gone there, that bit. Get rid of it. Leave the tiny little screws in. So the two screws, you've got one there, just one, one there and one on the other side. Leave them screws in. And what we're going to do is that's where we're going to put our, uh, our screws which hold the magnets, basically. So we're going to make up four of these, which I shall show you now. So you get a screw, you get one of the small washers, tiny little things, so you get a screw, small washer, this is how I do it by the way, so screw, small washer, then you get a magnet, stick a magnet on, and you've got a uh, countersung section, and that wants to go up towards that washer, so it's at the top of the screw, so there's a countersung section on that bit. just like that and you put another washer on the bottom all this stuff's included in the kit what you buy for about 12 quid probably not even that it's about eight pound and you stick the little nut back on see it screwed it up and what I found easy if you get a pair of pliers Hold it with a pair of pliers and then screw the screw in. And you can tighten it right up, which is good. So give that a good tighten up. And you want to make two of them that size with that size screw. There you go, two of those like that. And then they pop back into the holes where the mount for the body came from where you left them two screws in earlier, stick them in. Just like that. And then do the screws up. Quite easy, to be honest. Get them front two little screws, screw them up tight. Not too tight, because obviously it's plastic. Now what they do is they go down the side of the screw and they hold it in pretty well, to be honest. So stick them right in tighten them up and they hold them mounts pretty well when you do that on the front and on the rear you want some longer ones so you want the long screws so you can adjust them there you go just like that 
So make them exactly the same way. Install them exactly the same way. And if you can judge roughly how high I've got mine, so mine's sitting basically as far down as it can go on the front and on the rear it's like a 50-50 half and half height um, and we can adjust that later on if need be once you've done that get your hot glue gun out again and you can see roughly where i'm sticking these if you just copy exactly what i'm doing then they should all line up exactly perfect so you can you can see roughly where i'm sticking them so get your hot glue gun make sure you've got the magnets around the right way and that's the positions that you want to stick in the rear and that's the positions in the front so just to the front of the air vents through the bonnet yep just in, just on the insides of them exactly the same as that as you can see with the glue what i've done is i've completely covered that whole circuit board so no screws no magnets no metal touches it and also holds the cables in and stops the cables from from being pulled as you say, I want to add is earlier on in the video, what I've done is I put a note on the image at the beginning, basically saying not to add or basically saying to cut out the roof lights. So the other lights, which you want to say, you're only left with the front and rear lights. So what you do is when you cut that out at the front where you do cut them, you cut them as close as you can to the circuit board. And once you've cut them close to the circuit board, the glue which you put on, which hides all the circuit board and protects everything, stops the cables pulling out, basically hold all them other cables from touching each other. So you want to cut them as close as you can to the circuit board. And once you put all the glue on, you should be left with something a little bit like this. So if you notice, what I've done is I've got the hot glue gun and where the lights are, I've completely covered the whole of the lens of the lights with the hot glue. Now you don't have to make it look extremely pretty or anything. You just got to cover all the lens. It gives you a, a better kind of uh, lighting effect, to be honest. So I just want to show you something. So if I turn this body over. The position of the lights, where I've actually glued them in the front, you can just about see the LEDs on the insides of the lens. So I'm just showing you where I put them. And you can see the glue on the outside. And it just glows up nice, to be honest. And on the back, you can see the two LEDs either side, two single spotlights at the front. And it just lights up well, it runs well, looks good. You stick your body on. And the old magnets hold pretty well, as you can see, and that's what you should be ending up with. So for eight pound, guys, I mean, you can't knock that for eight quid, can you? Eight quid, little bit of work, and you've got yourself a nice little BMW Z4. You've got front and rear lights, and it looks awesome. I've got some red driffles I'm going to whack on it in a bit. Just have a little, little race around the front room. So get down to Smith's, guys. Get one of these bodies. They're eight pounds. A little bit of work. Job done. You can't really knock it, to be honest. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you on the next one.